while the investigation gets underway to determine what exactly happened to the plane, the mainstream media, Western media, seems to have already come to a decision. They are blaming Russia and sometimes on the flimsiest of evidence, as Gianni Chikian reports. Hours after the tragic crash of MH17, a toxic mix of politics and speculation filled the airwaves and headlines worldwide, with the Western media already determining who to blame. This is not a case where terrorists are operating without an address or home base. It's called the Kremlin. Is it time to stand up to Russia's president once and for all? Blame is largely on Putin, and I think we have to hold him accountable. International monitors say they now have open access to the war-torn area where the plane fell and are now working to reveal what exactly happened to MH17. But in the court of public opinion, the investigation itself may have already been discredited. They may be stymieing the investigation because they don't want to have the real proof of uh, the fact that they actually shot this aircraft down. There had been reports saying that already some of the black, uh, black boxes had been recovered and were in Moscow. There has been no confirmation that the black boxes were even heading to Moscow. Many unconfirmed reports have sprung up since the crash. A tape was widely circulated in the media with conversations between who were said to be Ukrainian rebels as well as between the rebels and allegedly a Russian intelligence officer discussing a plane crash. Kiev has also provided a video of what it said was the launcher used to down MH17, about to be smuggled into Russia. These recordings were only verified by the Ukrainian intelligence service, hardly an impartial party in the conflict. The Obama administration has put out its own version of events, saying a missile was shot from rebel-held territory, but presenting no evidence to back it up. The administration in general is attempting to put out as much information as we can about what underlies our assessment. I would also say that these aren't competing narratives from two uh, equally uh, credible sources here. The Russian government has repeatedly uh, put out misinformation and propaganda throughout this conflict in Ukraine. So uh, I would caution you from saying that this is just two equally well, credible sources. The media does not treat all sources equally either. And in the court of public opinion, innocent until proven guilty does not always apply. Ganesh Chakyan RT, Washington, D.C.